without a shadow of a doubt, he should be detained in the the male estate. Uh, and I think that the the general public are are largely on side with that. I mean, that report is just hideous. Uh, Humza Yusuf, as I said, there, has been in the job for two months. How do you think he's doing? I think he's doing really well, considering the circumstances. I mean, it would be difficult for any new leader at the best of times to set down their mark, to corral the troops, to set a new direction. And yet he's not had his challenges to seek in terms of uh, outside uh, circumstances beyond his control. So all things considered, I think he's doing a, a good job. But quite clearly, what the public want to see us do is get into grips with the NHS, get into grips with economic growth and prosperity and ensuring that we're delivering for you know ordinary Scots the length and breadth of the country. Um, is there been, with everything that's gone on, arrests, police investigations, resignations, um, has there been, ever been a moment when you've thought, oh, I'd rather him than me, that you were glad that you didn't win? Well, obviously, I, I definitely ran to win, as anybody would, but I'm a Democrat and the results being what they were, I'm very content with my lot. <laughs> uh, you'll know that... It's a really polite I way of saying that you're glad that you didn't have all that land in your lap. Well, n- not quite, but I mean, it was a pretty tough leadership contest. Yeah. And yeah. so, obviously, I was theoretically still on maternity leave at the time. So, in the last six weeks, I've essentially readjusted. I've gone back to work post-maternity leave with all the challenges of figuring out how to balance baby and job and baby and interviews like this. So in a sense, it has allowed me to have a slightly more relaxed (laughs) re-entry to work than might have been the case. It might have been a bit full on. Now, you called those reports about the SNP's finances mind-blowing and said the leadership needs to take decisive action to steady the ship. Do you think uh, Humza Yousaf has listened to you or is there something you'd have done differently? Well, he set up, in the aftermath of of what I said, he set up a review of of the governance arrangements for the SNP. Uh, And I think that obviously had to to happen. We had had a report, a review, I think it was the previous year or so, by Keith Brown, which had made recommendations for improving the governance. And perhaps we could have made greater progress on uh, instigating and implementing some of those recommendations already. But I think what's important is that we ensure that members, as well as the public, can have confidence in the integrity of internal party structures and therefore a, a confidence in, in, in us being the party of, of government. And that's always, that's never going to be quick. It's always going to take um, a little bit of work to restore that confidence. So I think Hamza Yusuf has definitely taken the right steps initially, but it's an ongoing piece of work. Um, Let's turn our attention to uh, to, uh, uh, other other political leaders. Uh, Labour under Anasawa seems to have had a significant turnaround in support. Is he now the biggest threat to the SNP? I don't think it's quite as simple as that because obviously, you know, there's a lot of talk about the next general election and that will be a a significant test uh, for the SNP. But my reading of the situation is that whilst people are looking to see what the SNP will do, they're not necessarily jumping ship to Labour. You know, you you may be sceptical about headlines you've seen about one party, but you also need to have confidence in what you're seeing from the Labour Party. And I don't get the impression that people quite yet have that confidence to put their support behind Labour. And the reason I say that is really down to the constitution. Now, I think people in Scotland want to put their vote to a party that they know will stand up for Scotland in whatever form that takes. So do you, and, think, do you think the shift in the polls has been more, you know, bluntly, is the SNP currently pushing people away rather than Labour attracting people? I think the SNP has been through quite a lot of challenging times in the last few months and inevitably when one leader who enjoyed soaring popularity ratings right till the very end and still does it steps down then people are readjusting to new leadership they're adjusting to perhaps a a challenging time uh, as uh, to to put it mildly in terms of, of the headlines but they'll want to know when it comes to an election who they can trust 
you know, and can they trust uh, Labour to stand up for Scotland's interests? I'm not sure Labour has made that case uh, quite yet. They do know that the SNP will stand up for Scotland. And, you know, despite the challenges that we've just talked about, the SNP still lead in the polls. Yeah. And yeah. remember that a sizable chunk of the Scottish electorate want to vote for a party that believes in independence. And they don't really know what the Labour stands, what Labour stands for beyond being a, another party that believes in, in the union. So I think Labour has a, a massive uphill struggle yet yeah. to attract voters. And the SNP has time to remind voters that we will consistently, whatever the issue, be the party that stands up for Scottish interests. Uh, when it comes to not knowing quite where parties stand, the, the, the trans issue has dominated Scottish politics. But, I mean, just again this week, the uh, transgender butcher, Andrew Miller, also known as Amy George, has admitted to abducting a schoolgirl from a street in the Scottish borders before sexually abusing her. Yesterday, Humza Yousaf couldn't say whether or not Miller uh, would be detained in a women's jail after sentencing. What do you think should be the answer to that question? Oh, I think without a shadow of a doubt, he should be detained in the the male estate uh, and i think that the the general public are are largely on side with that i mean that report is just hideous i read it over the last few days when it first emerged and it makes your skin crawl you know it makes me feel physically sick to hear what somebody would do to an innocent i think primary school girl and from my perspective justice has got to be served on this uh, this man and uh, you can see I think from reports in the local area that the community certainly want to to see justice uh, well we'll see uh, we'll see how that pans out after the uh, the sentencing uh, goes ahead um just just finally Kate, you you were discussing how you you sort of adjusted to life back in back in politics if uh, you know easing back in rather than what might have been a, a baptism of fire if you'd uh, uh, actually become leader w would you go for the job again some people saying if the SNP lose seats at the next election then Humza would have to stand down would you would you ever throw your hat into the ring again or was it was it an experience you'd rather not repeat well, I, I, I'll tell you sadly, Matt, what I've told every other journalist that asks, which is that it's highly unlikely. And that's what I said during the contest. It's what I repeat now. I don't believe in politics or indeed in life. You can ever say never because yeah. life is full of unpredictable surprises. But certainly from my perspective, it's highly unlikely. And I back Hamza doing a difficult job uh, and I'll, I'll continue to do that. Uh, certainly with the election uh, looming next year. Kate okay, Forbes, really good speech. I think we've got, we'll get a little present for you before we let you go as part of our non-stop. There we are. Oh, well, is, that, is, that what, is that what you're getting? <laughs> there we are, Kate, that takes... What, what election was it you used to come on... You came on to this too? Was it you say 2016? Oh, she's already gone. Oh, it turns out she's not a big fan of... Uh, uh, oh, she's still there. She's still there. You're still there, Kate? I am still here. I'm still here. You were, da you were dancing to Vore. Absolutely. Very good. Uh, Kate Forbes, really good speech. Thanks so much for joining us this Thank morning. Thank you. Thanks so much.